Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be fitting the continuous ink system to the Canon Pixma MG5350. So at the moment I've got the printer powered off so I can freely move this print head. I've got no cartridges in at all and the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the print head and install some silicon seals. So to remove a print head you put the grey arm in the up position and then tilt the print head towards you and it will pop straight out like that. Put it on a piece of paper or something similar. Now within your accessory pack you will have some small silicon seals and what you do is you place one of the silicon seals round the nozzle of the printer, uh, one for each colour. So you'll have four small ones and then you'll have one large black one uh, for a different shape for the large black cartridge. So try not to touch the, the metal nozzles at all when you're doing that. Just use the tweezers that we've provided in your kit and just smooth the silicon seals on straight around just making sure that they're, they're actually flushly fitted so the purpose of the silicon seals is to is to create an airtight seal at the bottom of the cartridge once they're in you can pop the cartridge the print head back in uh, at an angle and then lock the grey arm back in the down position that bit's quite important uh, put the grey arm down so we're going to come to install the continuous ink system itself now so I've got the cartridges so the first thing you need to check before you take the orange caps off is that over here on the continuous ink system that the roller is in the down position. It must be locked down and then you can proceed to take off the orange caps. So hold them all in your hand and then you should just be able to take off all the orange caps. All right, so. And once you've got them in this position here, you're just going to flip them over and we're going to pop them straight into the printer, clicking each cartridge into place as it goes into the printer. Just like a, a normal ink cartridge, just pop them all in, slide them back and click them into place. Uh, so all five of them are now clicked in, uh, hopefully you can see that, see I can't open the scanner lid anymore for you to get a better view but let's adjust the camera. So they're all in. Uh, so the next thing part way down your ink line you have this, uh, this clamp here, you need to remove the green backing tape from that. Now this will actually affix to the underside of the printer lid so I'll affix it uh, and then I'll uh, move the camera so you can see exactly where it goes. So just make sure there's no twists or kinks straight off this incline and it actually gets attached underneath the lid. Uh, so it's probably about just on the edge of the uh, couple of inches to the right of the end of the Canon logo or about an inch and a half to the right over here so you can see where that and then halfway down the printer so that it's in line with the cartridges but what I'll do is I'll flip the printer up so you can see exactly where so you can see there where I've installed my clamp in this position here and its alignment is just to the right of the cartridge bay in the middle over there so before we actually can continue we need to check the incline uh, adjustment is correct so you imagine when the print head moves over to the right that's great you know you've got plenty of room there and when it moves over to the left hand side it can't reach at the moment, so it can't reach. But what you have to remember is that you're going to partially close, remove that plug. You're going to partially uh, close this printer lid, so you can imagine when you do that, the incline is going to become lower. Uh, so it might actually be, the adjustment might actually be correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually, what you're checking, I'll manually close the lid, but what you're checking is that the incline is not hitting this, this uh, triangle shape here. If it hits there uh, and starts jamming there, it could cause issues. So the best way to do it is to close the, the lid partially. But before I do that, actually, let's fit the printer lid cover. So within your accessory pack, there is uh, a metal clamp like this. You need to take one of the green backing tapes and attach it to the bottom of the clamp like that. And then what you do is you just remove the green backing tape. Now it actually gets placed 
over here on the right hand side just on an angle is fine just so it's that part partly on there let's move my hand so it's partly on that on the on the back ridge and partly on the front ridge so, and then actually close your lid and your lid should actually hit that clamp so the lid won't close anymore you've got that partial gap which is normal so that means that you've fitted the clamp in the right hand side in the right place now only when you've closed it like that you should you should come down and then look in here and then check your incline so what I'm actually doing now is I'm manually sliding my print head over to the left hand side and what I'm doing is I'm making sure that that incline, let's lift it up, I'm making sure that that incline doesn't hit here. If it does you need to adjust it through this incline by pulling it through this clamp uh, making it shorter or tighter. But again just pull the lid down on the clamp and then manually slide the print head over to the, ref to the left hand side and you're just making sure that it is, it can't, it's not touching it, but it must be able to reach all the way over to the left hand side. If it's a little bit tight like this is, I need to adjust it. So the way you adjust it is I'm going to hold the clip, pull a little bit, just a fraction of the ink line through. So I've made that a little bit longer and I'm going to close my lid and then I'm going to pull it over to the left hand side. And again, I've got some clearance there. So it's not actually hitting this bit here, it's just curling up to about that position uh, and that's fine. So close the lid and just check that you're happy with that. So yeah, I'm happy with that now. So I'm going to open the lid while I continue with the rest of the install. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to power the printer on. So let's shut the lid. Let's just route this cable. The cable can come out over here on the right hand side, that's perfectly fine. Now before you switch the printer on, you need to put the roller in the up position and remove the four small flat plugs or the five small flat plugs. We'll come back to that in a minute to fit the air filters. So the continuous ink system must be installed level with the base of the printer. Doesn't matter where, as long as it's installed level with the base of the printer. The ink line is long enough for it to reach around the back if you haven't got the room. So roller in the up position, small flat plugs removed. So when we power the printer on now, it's going to know that the lid is open. So within your accessory pack there is a spare plug and there's a keyhole shape over here at the back. I'm hoping you can see this on the video. Uh, and what you have to do is you put it in the keyhole, but don't just put it in, in the round bit. You need to put it in and then insert it. Put it in and then slide it to the top. Now if it, when you switch your printer on, it said the lid is open, then you know you're not inserted it correctly. So I've put it in and then I've pushed the whole plug that way. I can then proceed to close the lid like that as far as it's going to go and then we can power the printer on. So while it's going to, it's going to power it on now and it's going to run through a few checks uh, but we need to install the air filters. So within your accessory pack there's some air filters which look like this. They have a narrow pointed end and a short stubby fat end and they get inserted with the narrow pointed end facing upwards and you're going to pop one of them into each one of the holes of the air breather holes. They will allow the system to be able to breathe just like that. So what it's doing now is powering it up, uh, continuous ink systems installed and what it's doing is it's running through its cleaning and purging cycle. So we're going to pop some paper into it uh, and let it do its uh, head clean and whatever else it needs to do. So it's the first time it's been used so I'm going to select my language, head alignment sheet, uh, load a sheet of specified into the rear tray. So it's asking me to feed it into the rear tray and then press OK. So I've loaded some paper into, into the back of the machine and then I'm going to load a few more sheets into, into the bottom. So because this is a brand new printer straight out of the box it's telling me that it needs to run a head alignment sheet which unfortunately says it's going to take about six minutes. So 
and that's what happens when you get the uh, printer straight out of the box there so I've loaded some paper in the front and in the back uh, and then when it's finished uh, we'll run a nozzle check sheet off and then uh, see what happens so you're just going to have to bear with me now because it's a brand new printer uh, and it, it's, it's wanted to do head alignment sheet first time round it's going to take a few minutes for it to run that head alignment sheet so it might go a bit quiet I am still here uh, it's just that I'm running out of things to say I've covered the basics of the install uh, and I've just got to wait for the printer now unfortunately so on the video it's going to look like there's uh, six, min six minutes of doing nothing but So we've had no errors at all uh, at the moment, no chip issues, no uh, errors on the cartridge at all, which is always good when you're installing the ink systems. Yeah, so it says I've got four minutes left, so just bear with me. So there's no way for it for me to. Uh, to bypass that function so as you can see uh, while it's doing that you know you can still use all the functions of this printer you can still use the scan functions and all the other facilities of it uh, even with the lid open because we've bypassed the printer lid sensor uh, and the lid is only slightly ajar so you've probably got about an inch uh, an inch space on that so please don't you know please don't try and close the lid fully because what you're actually doing when you close the lid fully you'll drop the ink line inside the printer uh, and it will hit the bottom of the tray and could cause some damage so it's quite important that you you do run with the continuous ink system with the lid slightly open So if I can get the camera down, you might be able to see the print head moving. Yes, I think you can see the print head moving backwards and forwards in there. And uh, so that's how they normally run. It will just run uh, like that. So I can see it's actually printing uh, its head alignment sheet. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward uh, to fit on this model. Uh, it's just a case of of getting your, your clamps and your clips and everything in the right positions. Whilst the lid is partially closed. printer you know, you've probably you've probably already done this stage but it's going to be doing the same thing for you to be honest let's just move the head let's just move the camera so you can get a shot of the print head moving you can't see a lot but you know you can't open the printers on on these while they're printing like the other videos that I do you know you, you can't just open the lid on these once it's uh, once it's printed unless you've got a problem you should just leave leave the printer lid closed
that noise is actually the the print head moving, which is quite surprising from uh, from a brand new printer. Uh, it's not uh, it's not the ink lines rubbing. It's actually the print the noise of the print head. So this could still take a few more minutes. I'm probably uh, probably going to cut this video short now. There's not much else you can see. Uh, you can see it's printing the document. Uh, um, I've taken the camera back and you can see how the printhead moves uh, left to right and right to left. And that's how you install uh, the continuous ink system on the Canon MG5350 from City Ink Express. Thank you.